So there's this uh, very interesting story about uh, Bruce Springsteen, which I was just reading a couple of days ago, and I realized that this is uh, uh, something that happens to all of us, and and definitely has happened to me. I thought I would share it with you because uh, we always have these kind of situations where, as a startup um, founder, you're pitching on behalf of uh, you know your own company, or um, as a consultant, I'm pitching on behalf of a client. Uh, so there are these very important uh, life-changing type situations. You're on a, uh, maybe about to do a keynote in front of a very august audience or a very rare occasion where you have been uh, privileged to address someone or a, or a large gathering and so on. So what happens at that time, right? And this is story actually came from Bruce Springsteen's uh, uh, personal life, which I thought I would share here. Now, you know, you, you are, you're prepped up for the moment, you're prepared, you're, you're all set, and then you go there. And in just a few minutes earlier, you realize that your, you know, the limelight is going to be on you, and uh, you know, <laughs> you, you hit this spot where uh, there's so much nervous energy that you kind of do not know what to do. Uh, most of the times, we just sail through and just go through, go go into it and and, and execute and 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 leave. But um, you know, it does happen that sometimes if you have that opportunity to pause and ask yourself the question, so what? You know, this is exactly what uh, Bruce Springsteen's story is about, and I'll share it here. Um, this happened many years ago, and he was actually on the audition uh, trip, and he was at uh, John Hammond's uh, studio. He was uh, on schedule for the John Hammond's studio for an audition in New York City, and he had entered the building. Uh, he was very nervous. He was at the elevator, and he was going, uh, you know, upstairs on the 36th floor or something. And then, uh, you know, he was very nervous and, and all of that. And suddenly, it occurred to him that, you know, there's some sort of a mental switch. And uh, he said, hey, you know what? So what? If I don't make this, so what? You know, I'm coming into this uh, with all these preparations. And if it doesn't work, uh, okay, so what? I'm coming out in one piece and I'll go ahead and continue working anyway. So this... Um, you know, uh, is is really what happens to us, and and I wanted to you know spend a minute on this. Today, I believe this is called um, cognitive reframing, something like that in the behavioral psychology world. And I'm not sure if it's actually a technique that is promoted or or practiced or recommended or not. But this actually happens to all of us. It happens to many of us. It happened to me. It happened to me many times. And for some reason, either by consciously or by practice or not, you actually go back and tell yourself, so what? Big deal, right? If it doesn't happen, it's okay. I'll come back and do it again or do somewhere else and, you know, so on. That momentary backing off allows the mind, in my mind, in my view, to kind of calm down and builds the natural energy and then you go ahead and, and execute anyway. This kind of an execution has actually helped uh, Bruce, for example, back to that example, he is actually... You know, after that event, he actually delivered, uh, you know, record after record, and he did ten-year uh, contract with Hammond after this, and I believe with uh, Columbia for the next five decades. So, this happens to all of us. And the point I'm making is that if you have the ability to just calm down, uh, and then a quick way to get there is to ask yourself, so what? So I do hope, while with all the best preparations you have, should you have that situation where you're in the limelight? Just back off for a moment and say, so what? And then you will actually get there and deliver with a flying record, flying uh, <laughs> colors. So all the best on that and keep going.